What's up, you certified beauties? It's Nick from Nick's Taxes, and today we're gonna do a quick walkthrough of Cloud Tax. Now, Cloud Tax is a tax software in Canada, uh, so you can do your taxes by yourself, or you can pay and have a tax professional help you go through the whole process. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are aware of like TurboTax and H&R Block. This is just like one of those that rivals them, uh, and they've been around actually for a couple of years. Uh, but as a newer company, I thought I would give this uh, tax software a look and see how this looks in comparison to those other softwares out there. And from what I saw, uh, I really like how the system looks and I think it's very simple to use. And so in today's video, uh, I'm gonna just jump into the software for you guys to take a look and see for yourselves uh, how Cloud Tax looks. So when you're getting ready to prepare your own taxes this year, uh, you have an idea of what tax software you might want to use. So this is Cloud Tax. Uh, it's a newer software, but I think it's really good. Uh, let's jump right into it. But before we do, uh, please give it this video a quick thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Uh, but let's jump right into Cloud Tax. Hey guys, it's Nick here from Nick's Taxes. And today I'm walking through Cloud Tax, showing you this new software and kind of what it looks like. So if you choose to use Cloud Tax this year to file your taxes, you kind of have an idea of what it looks like and what to expect. Right now, I'm using the computer, the desktop version of this, but I really like the way this looks as well on a tablet or on the phone. Like the mobile user face is also very clean and you'll kind of get uh, my drift of how clean this looks uh, using the desktop version as well. So this, there's a free version. And then also if you want to use a tax expert, uh, you can pay for that for peace of mind or to get that little extra help that you may need if you so choose so. But this here is the dashboard, very clean. Uh, I can start my return or I can, if I've started and I wanna continue where I've left off, I can do so here. And then I have access to the 2020 tax calculator that I want. Much like the other softwares on the left-hand side, kind of walks you through all the different um, steps to filing your taxes, you know, from your personal in income, sorry, from your personal info to your income, to your credits and expenses, all the way down to actually filing your tax return. And then at the bottom here, it'll tell you kind of how far along you are. Um, the balance owing or the refund position will update live. And then you can actually drill down and get a more solid understanding of your balance or refund, as well as as you're updating your taxes, you can see the uh, consequence of the last change uh, in your taxes. So that's pretty cool. And the one thing I really like about the cloud tax software, unlike other softwares, with the free version, it'll actually save your prior year tax returns. So if I've done my 2018 or 2019 with cloud tax, it'll save it and recognize that information. The other softwares out there don't do that unless you have a paid version of the software. So uh, I'm going to kind of walk through kind of briefly what it looks like so you can take a look. And I'm going to start with the profile section. So you're entering in your personal information here. And then it's going to ask you kind of what your situation is. And from there, it's going to recommend different slips that you may have. So um, here you can input in what slips you might have. And you can also search the slips here using the magnifying glass. And then you can go on and enter in the deductions and the credits and the expenses the exact same way. So that way, once you go through step by step, if you so choose to do it this way, it'll just pop up uh, as you go along. Here's the personal information section, which is very similar to the other softwares. Um, you just enter in your information, your residency status. And then once that's done, uh, you get to choose to autofill the return if you so choose, and then it'll start taking you through uh, the slips that you identified at the beginning there. So uh, this here is a T4 section, and this is what it looks like if you're entering in the T4. You can add a T4, um, you know, you can delete one. One thing that's really cool about uh, this software is I can upload a slip. So if I have PDF copies of my T4, I can hit that upload button and upload it into the software, and CloudTax will read that, that slip and input those numbers you know, into the software for me, which I think is a really cool feature. Um, and that works for every single T-slip that you might have. Just look for that little blue cloud. Also, you have the ability to add and remove slips there. 
And the search functionality, I think, is really crisp as well. Uh, you can see when you start entering T4, uh, all the options pop up there, and it'll just take you right to that section. Um, so for instance, T4A, I want to hit that. I can go boom, T4A, and it'll take me right there to the section. Once you're done entering in all your income and expenses, they have a pretty clean review section, and I will show you that here. One thing that they offer as well that's different is a PDF copy of your tax return. So you could download that if you're uh, more comfortable looking at like an actual T1 when you're reviewing your tax return. Uh, this is the way to go, and you can get a PDF copy of the return through, through Cloud Tax, which is nice. And then obviously, uh, you can file your taxes through NetFile. The Cloud Tax is registered with the CRA for, for NetFile for 2020, which is great. Um, but this is Cloud Tax. I think it's really clean, uh, really simple to use. It, you know, it takes away a lot of unnecessary clutter and just gives you the stuff you need to file your taxes quickly, efficiently, and most importantly, properly and accurately. Uh, so if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below uh, and I'll try to answer them. Uh, again, if you got value out of this video, please give it a thumbs up. It just helps my channel grow and gets this uh, content out to more people who need to see it for their taxes. Uh, and if you're new, please consider subscribing. But that's all for today's video. Uh, thanks for watching. Again, I'm Nick from Nick's Taxes. And as always, happy taxing.